Now, let us study the feed management in goats. Silage is not so popular in goat farms. Goats are fed with green fodder twice and concentrate once a day. It eats dry fodder like paddy straw, but it is not helpful for growth of the goat. However, the herbages of dicot plants like horse gram, cow pea, black gram, groundnut etc. are excellent. Improved green fodder varieties like CO4, AP01 and guinea are used in this farm. Yield and quality of AP01 is better than other types. Hedge lucerne is in mixed cropping with the grasses. This farmer uses brush cutter for the cutting of the grasses. Since the fodder crop is in the vicinity of the goat shed, four laborers are maintaining 400 goats. Fodder crop in one acre land is sufficient for 30 to 35 goats. Perennial tree fodders like subabul, hedge lucerne, gliricidia, mulberry, etc., may also be fed. Nutritious green fodder reduces the dependence on concentrated feed. Cost of rearing of a goat comes down. Locally available fruit can be given to goats. One kilogram of fodder and 100 grams of feed are necessary for 10 kilograms of body weight. For an adult goat, 4 to 5 kilograms of green fodder and 400 to 500 grams of concentrate is sufficient. Feed may be divided and fed twice with the fodder or separately. 10 grams of mineral mixture per goat per day is compulsory with the feed. Cost of ready-made feed is very high. Nutrient content is also not assured. Hence, feed may be prepared on the farm itself. According to animal nutrition experts, feed composition must be like this. Broken maize, 40%. Wheat polish, 30%. Dicot gram powder, 10%. Broken rice, 10%. And soya bean, 10%. Add 1 kg of common salt, 2 kg of mineral mixture and 1 kg of digestible crude protein or DCP to 100 kg of main feed mixture. Pregnant and delivered doors are given normal amount of feed only. It needs more feed if it has more than 3 kids. Generally, small amount of oil cake is mixed in drinking water. Some farmers put common salt also. Goats like this and drink. Silage is the best fodder for goats. Now let us study the scientific method of silage making. Though the silage is useful, it is not yet popular among goat farmers. Yellow maize is grown for silage making. Just after milky grain stage, that is by 85 days, crop is harvested with cobs. Generally, sunken silage pits of this type are in use. Here the stone slabs are used for flooring and wall. It is helpful to control rats. Put thick plastic sheets on all sides of the silo pit. Even the cement or stone pit needs plastic layer. This retains moisture in the silage and prevents air and water entering inside. Silage making is the anaerobic fermentation of fodder. Silage gets spoiled if air enters inside. Cut the fodder with the cob to quarter in size. Let it fall directly into the pit. If the dicot plants are mixed, the nutritive value of the silage will be better. Dissolve 20 kg of jaggery in 150 liters of water in a barrel. Put 50 liters of water in another bowl. Mix 250 grams of silage microorganism culture. Few private labs produce this silage culture mixture. This costs about 13 to 14,000 rupees per kilogram and is sufficient for 100 tons of fodder. This is most important for good quality silage and also for easy digestion. 
Silage without culture may sometimes create diarrhea in girls. Mix this culture solution into the jaggery water. Sprinkle the solution at the rate of 10 liters per ton of water. This farmer has an easy method for sprinkling. This small tub on the top of the platform contains culture solution. Drip irrigation pipe attached to the bottom of the tub brings down the solution. This pipe opens on the top of the shaft cutter and solution is sprinkled automatically. A tap attached to the pipe controls the flow. One kilogram of common salt per ton of fodder is also added. Complete the filling of the silo pit on the same day. Do not continue for the second day. Trample the fodder in the pit by clean bare feet so that the air inside the heap comes out. Cover the pit with plastic sheet to make it airtight. Put stone or sandbags on it. Silo pit with 20 tons of fodder needs 5 tons of weight. Prevent the rain and flood water entering the silage pit. Rats should not burrow inside. This allows air and insect inside spoiling the silage. This fodder turns into silage after 15 days of filling and keeps up to 2 years. Size of cutting, amount of trampling and weight on the top decides the quality of the silage. This silage is good even for sheep, cows and buffaloes. One cubic feet space of the pit holds 12 to 15 kilograms of silage. This pit is 30 feet long, 6 feet wide and 10 feet deep. That is 1,800 cubic feet. This accommodates 25 to 30 tons of silage. It is difficult to take out the silage if the depth of the pit is more than 10 feet. Do not open the entire silo pit while using the silage. It is better to open 2 to 3 feet of the length of the pit and exhaust up to the bottom. If the pit is opened like this, covering it again is a must after the usage for the day. Silage can be prepared even with rain-fed fodder sorghum varieties like SSV73, PVK01, GD65195 and GD65174. These also yield 10 tons of fodder per acre. Harvest and cut the fodder along with its grains, irrespective of the variety. This contains 10 to 15% of grain by weight. Hence, the goat eating 4 kilograms of silage will get at least 400 grams of grain. One can escape from using concentrates if this kind of silage is fed. Silage culture used enables easy digestion and increases the availability of nutrients. Goats will not grow like this if it is fed only with green fodder. Indigestion is not seen, even if the goat eats excess quantity of silage. Yellow maize yields 15 tons of biomass per acre. 40 to 50 tons of fodder is available from three crops in a year. Each adult goat needs 1 to 1.5 tons of silage per year. So one can raise 30 to 35 goats with one acre of fodder. Do not forget to use organic manure and micronutrients to the soil for this continuous crop. Crop rotation is still better. 60 to 65 percent is the optimum moisture content in the fodder to get good quality silage. If the silage contains more moisture, the goat suffers with a shortage of dry matter. Yellow maize is excellent for silage production, but it will not come up well in high rainfall and low fertility areas. One can go for CO4, ginning, AP01, or any other improved fodder grass for silage making, or it may be fed as green itself. In this case, 2 kg of jaggery per ton of fodder is advised for good quality silage production. But this silage contains no grains. Hence, feeding concentrates is inevitable. Using silage 
avoids the hectic work of fodder transportation and cutting every day. This reduces the labor requirement on regular days. Availability of nutrients is more in the silage than green fodder. Thank you.